Hey everyone, Ben Meredith here, and today we're going to talk about the Nikon ZR H265 codec. I purchased this camera, I've had it for over a week, and I've gotten to use it on a few different shoots. We all know the Red Raw codec is phenomenal, it looks great, I'm going to use it all the time on this camera. But I want this camera to be as versatile as I know that it can be, so I dug into the settings a little bit more to dial in this H265 codec problem. So what is the problem? Well, it, it is a little muddy. Now I'm not backtracking, I know I said it's very usable on my first video, and I still believe that it's very usable. I used the H.265 codec on the first shoot that I did with this camera, and it looked fine. It was a shoot that I knew was going straight to social media, mainly Instagram, so it was more than enough information that I needed. But I'm all about versatility, and I know the H.265 codec offers a few different options, so I wanted to see what it's like outside of just shooting in N-Log. So right now we are shooting in N-Log on the H.265 codec. And just for reference, we're shooting with the internal mic's 32-bit float audio with the direction of the mic facing towards me. And we're shooting on my custom set of Canon FD Cinevised lenses. I love these vintage lenses and I think pairing them with this camera is just such a phenomenal image. I'm using the screen on the camera, no autofocus. I'm just literally looking at the screen right here and I racked focus to my face using the little zoom rocker. Uh, again, I can't speak highly enough of this screen. It is so amazing to have on a camera of this size. And it seems to be the problem, whether it's the noise reduction or sharpening or variable bitrate, but in N-Log, the H.265 codec is a little muddy. So even though I'm shooting at 5.3K resolution, it doesn't seem like that resolute of an image. Again, I think it's more than fine for things that are going straight to social media, but it might not work for other projects. And I want this camera to work for every project, whether it's an A cam or a B cam or a C cam. So after digging into the settings a little bit more, I realized you can shoot shoot in HLG mode with the H.265 codec or standard mode with the H.265 codec, which is basically a Rec. 709 LUT that's built in. Now changing this mode does change the quality of the H.265 codec. So right now we're in N-Log H.265, but let's jump over to standard mode and see how that looks. All right, now we're in standard mode on the H.265 codec, and you can see that it is a sharper image. It is more resolute. Actually, it might be a little too sharp for my taste, but from what I can see, there's no way to dial that in inside of the camera. Now let's compare it to the N-Log footage right now and you can actually see that difference, especially if we zoom in. So the plus side, you are gaining a more resolute image, but the downside is you're baking in a pretty harsh Rec. 709, you're losing some dynamic range, and to my eye, it's a little overly sharp. But there is that HLG setting. So let's go into that. So this is the HLG setting just in camera. I didn't do anything to it. So in the HLG setting, you can go into the menu and see that you have control there. You can dial in the sharpness, mid-range sharpness, contrast, saturation, and a few other things. This is everything set to zero. Now let's heighten everything and see how that looks. So here's the HLG setting with the sharpness all the way up to nine and the mid-range sharpness all the way up to five. I left the contrast at zero. So you can see this offers a much sharper image. Let's take a look how this compares to HLG with everything set to zero. Now let's take a look with the HLG setting with the sharpness all the way up compared to the N-Log setting. So you can see it's a much more resolute, sharper image. And because it has those settings in camera, you can kind of dial it into taste. I feel like the HLG setting, which we're shooting on now still, is a pretty good middle ground for the H.265 codec. It gives you a little more color grading room in post, but it does bake in some color and contrast into your image. But I think for quick run and gun stuff, that's actually gonna work just fine for me. And last but not least, if you are trying to save file space, let's take a look at the lower bitrate and raw setting. We're gonna jump to that right now. So here we're shooting in the NRAW at the standard quality setting in full 6K. Now this is actually shot in a pretty friendly bitrate. This probably seems like the best option if you want that full N-Log flexibility and you still want a very resolute, sharp image without loading up your car as fast as Red Code Raw might. Now, obviously, if you want the highest quality, you wanna shoot in Red Raw. But I think for a lot of projects, this is a great middle ground. And if you want an even lower bitrate, you can actually shoot in 4K. So let's jump to that right now. 
So here we are in NRAW, NLOG at 4K resolution. So this gives you a lot of flexibility in post and it really shaves those file sizes down. Let's take a look, zoom in a little bit and just compare all these codecs. After that comparison and after testing this camera for over a week, I think I found that the H.265 codec in NLOG is pretty good for things that just go straight to social media. If you want a little bit more of a resolute image, the HLG setting seems to work very nicely. And then if you want to save on card space but just bump up to that higher quality image, the NRAW is actually really nice. When I bought this, I never thought I would use the NRAW. But NRAW at 4K is a really economical option. It'll save you a ton of card space. You can shoot all day on it and still get that really high quality image. And then of course, for the bigger projects or projects you might be a little more passionate about, this changes into a full frame red camera that still honestly blows my mind how good that codec is in this small of a camera. So after over a week of having this camera, that's my thoughts on the ugly duckling of this camera, the H265 codec. I still think it's plenty usable, and if you need that little higher quality but you want to save on card space, you have the NRAW. And then if you need what this camera is all about, you have Red RAW. All right, so if you have this camera, I suggest going through the menu and kind of testing these codecs for yourself, but mainly this camera is just so fun to shoot with. So get out there and shoot. I, I think I'm gonna go right now. Ah.